Hi, I'm Dr. Riley from RBK Pediatrics. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about the difference between the PCR tests for COVID-19 and the rapid tests, or also known as the rapid antigen tests. So here I have a list for you of the differences between the PCR tests and the rapid antigen tests. But I think the one that usually most people are for most familiar with is that the PCR tests are considered to be highly sensitive and highly specific. But unfortunately, because they're highly sensitive and highly specific, this makes people misunderstand their usefulness. They think that they are considered to be a better test in all situations. And I'm gonna tell you why that tends not to be the case for many people. Um, the antigen tests are very highly specific and we can get the results very quickly in our office. We can get the results within 15 or 20 minutes. But I think um, to fully understand what's going on with um, the different tests, you have to understand what happens when you have a viral infection, right? So usually there is an exposure, right? So you get exposed to someone uh, who has the COVID and then what happens is it, it, it grows inside of you, right? Now, this graph is not exactly how it works with the COVID. The COVID actually kind of does something like this where all of a sudden it just grows really fast. The virus goes up really fast like this and then it goes back down. But this is actually nice to show you this period here, which is the infectious period. And this infectious period is really where we see the rapid antigen have its highest utility. This is where it's like the best because this is where it actually comes back positive. It comes back positive in that period of time that you really care about. You wanna know, you know, while I'm contagious, while I'm infectious, you know, am I gonna, is a, am I gonna have a test that's gonna tell me that I'm positive, right? And this is, this is what we see. And this kind of pink area, this is where the rapid antigen tests kind of shine, right? Now the problem, the problem with the PCR tests is the PCR tests come back positive in this area, but they also come back positive all the way over here into this area that's marked recovery, right? Now, this is the problem. Is this, is this useful, right? If, if all of a sudden I do a test and it's like a long time after I've, I've, I'm contagious or I'm infectious that it comes back positive because it kind of fools you into thinking that you're positive right now. So really what you want is you want to test that when you become infectious, it tells you you're positive. And then when you're no longer infectious, it tells you you're negative. And that's what the rapid antigen tests do. So this is the real question. You know, you could actually say to yourself, well, this is kind of interesting. How long does a PCR test come back positive after somebody has the infection? So we can just put this into Google. So that's what I did as I put it into Google. And the first thing that pops up is this uh, from the CDC that says for people who come back positive for a PCR test and it's been like three months since they had the test, it's not that they're positive again. It's that the PCR test sometimes comes back positive three months later. So this is the problem, right? If you're coming back positive three months after you had the disease, which maybe you had it asymptomatically, you didn't even know, then this is actually telling you that you can't do things that you wanna do. So like right now we're seeing a lot of kids who are trying to go back to college. They could have been sick in college, right? If they were not tested before they came back home, they could have been sick, got better, never even knew, not infectious now, and then all of a sudden now they can't go back to school because they did a PCR test that doesn't really tell you exactly when you were contagious, when you're infectious. It just tells you that your body had some kind of contact. And this is the, this is the question, right? The rapid tests are very good at answering the most common question that people want to know. Can I go visit grandma? Because if you're waiting for your PCR test to come back negative, that could be waiting a really long time. And actually, remember from the graph, you could actually have been way past your infectious period. So this, this, is, the, this is the thing, is that um, we don't expect everybody to become an expert on the COVID overnight. But luckily, um, your doctors are. So when you go to see your doctor, right, and you're not sure which test is the best test for you. 
You can just ask them. That's what they do. That's all they do. The doctors usually know what's going to be the actually the test that's actually going to be the most accurate for you in your situation. So I would encourage you that if you have any kind of questions, you can reach out to your doctor and you know, we are very pro-testing. We think that testing is actually very good for people to actually understand what's going on in their particular situation, but you have to do the right kind of test, the right kind of test that answers the right kind of questions for what you wanna know. All right, so I'm Dr. Riley. I've just been talking about the difference between rapid antigen and PCR tests. And if you have any questions, you could please reach out to us. Thanks.